Good evening, Advent, and welcome to Vespers. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends in Christ, here in the presence of Almighty God, let us confess our sins that we may obtain forgiveness by God's infinite goodness and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. <clears throat> this evening's reading is from the Gospel of John. Jesus said, I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason, the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. <clears throat> the philosopher Aristotle made the assertion that the good life, or that which is good, is determined by virtue. If you live virtuously, if you are attentive to truth and the well-being of those around you, then you have lived a good life. In our culture, we tend to think of the good life as self-serving, that we're comfortable, that we're happy, that we're surrounded by certain creature comforts. In other words, those things that we can acquire determine whether life is good rather than an internal mechanism that leads us to lean toward virtue. When Jesus calls himself the good shepherd, he describes the good and truth in terms of behaviors and choices. That which is good is discernible. It's evidence, it's measurable. You see someone living for the sake of another, you have been the recipient of the outward evidence of kindness and friendship, and yes, someone may have actually stepped in between you and someone or something that would have caused you harm. The concept of good has boots on the ground. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. If you have ever been in a situation where someone has actually stepped in to protect you or help you, you know you never forget that. Good shepherds don't ask for anything in return. They give their lives for something other than just comfort or convenience. They see more than the moment. There is an a scintilla of opportunism in the work of the good shepherd. Those who step in between you and some danger see the future, and it is a future that has greater meaning for all if you are a part of it. Because you see, the principle is this. 
you are worth defending. You are worth saving. You won't find that kind of friendship or leadership from someone who thinks only of self. Good equals virtue, but good also equals sacrifice. And as it concerns our confession of faith, the pursuit of the good may well lead to death. You see, the Good Shepherd is also the Lamb of God, and we are saved because the Lamb stands between us and the power of death, so that you and I might have life. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us by your Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way, kindle our hearts, and awaken hope, that we may know you as you are revealed in Scripture and the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty and merciful God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep us this night and forevermore. Amen. Good night, Advent. <laughs>